Hi guys, welcome to another video. Binance, Binance, and Binance. One exchange that never got hacked before in such scenario, but finally has been hacked. And the hacker took over 100 million, which is surprising, happened on a bridge. Bridges are very insecure, but everybody thought Binance being the number one exchange around the world will be very good with security. But anything is possible in crypto markets and in a centralized exchange, not your keys, not your crypto. Guess who's back? It's Elon Musk because Elon Musk wants to buy Twitter again. Will this be very good for the platform? Definitely yes, because he has a brilliant mind and he might just take out all these bots that we see regularly on Twitter. US unemployment rate dropped to 3.5%. The expectation was 3.7% and a lot of jobs came in last month. So that is a very good news. But the market still dumped on this news. So let's dig into Bitcoin and Ethereum's chart, see what's happening and the XRP target is mission accomplished. First thing first, let's get into the DXY chart, the dollar currency index. So the dollar currency index has bounced back into the ranges from about 110. So I did say in the previous video that I'm expecting about 110 to 109 and then we might see a bounce and the bounce has certainly here. So the bounce is in this ranges already. We've dipped into the highs of about 113, just a point lower, which is 0.96 and expecting to be facing some resistance from this zone, which is at 112.609. So we're going to be expecting some consolidation period here before we make a lower lows, probably hitting this zone, which is our red zone, which is also our resistance from the previous point. So this is going to be interesting if it continues to go higher into the ranges of about previous highs of 114, then obviously we're going to be seeing a massive pullback coming into the crypto markets. USDT's dominance has been printing higher highs and higher lows on the regular basis but we've also been range bound just trading in this range of about 7.84 percent to the range of about 7.17 percent we've been sideways though looking all right expecting some retests to be coming here very soon which would be at these areas if we face another rejection then likely we're going to be seeing a bounce coming down so if that happens then obviously your favorite and my favorite bitcoin and ethereum are going to pump Let's move into the BTC's 4-hour chart. So on the 4-hour chart, certainly a good sign. And that sign is a bullish divergence. If you look into the candlestick patterns, the line is heading upwards. While if we look into the RSI, the line is heading downwards, which is a bullish divergence. So we would expect a pump to come back into these sides previously by just a margin of 50 to 40 dollars so if we have a retest here confirmation comes a new trade will open from here for a target of about 22 to 21 thousand dollars which we have tested previously at these price points so this is going to be an interesting trade but before you ape into any trades now it's very late to actually get in a swing trade because we've already had this test and now we are going down in case we do come into this range which is around nineteen thousand dollars then we could break down and we could break down back into the levels of about seventeen thousand five hundred thirty seven dollars so pretty tricky out there right now so i wouldn't really suggest you to get into a trade right now if you did book some profits here well done and now we would expect another retest if that happens successfully then obviously twenty two thousand twenty one thousand are gonna be open for a long but for now just be patient see how sundays plays out how the weekly candle closes that's gonna be very important let's move into the daily time frame so btc for right now the 200 moving average is 27,386 dollars our upper bb is at 22,268 dollars while the lower bb is at 17,728 dollars which has been range bound facing resistance from the 50 ma about twenty thousand dollars so let's hope that we do have a retest of it very soon and not come back into this support box which is the green line which we have tested several times would like to see a push upwards volume has faded away so we need to see some good volume coming in on the daily time frames let's jump right into the weekly chart so on the weekly chart we are trading below the 200 moving average which is at twenty three thousand five hundred and 51 dollars we are still in the bullish divergence on the weekly charts which is a good sign overall i still believe we should have a retest on the highs somewhere here to create a beautiful lower high but we gotta watch out and see how things play out the last two weeks have been pretty bullish volume looks very good i hope this pattern continues let's check out ethereum's four hour charts so on the four hour chart a bullish divergence is forming right now this was our previous 
candlestick uh, point and this is the low that we made recently while we look into the rsi it's heading downwards and this is pretty sideways so that is also a bullish divergence and this also continues to draw further bullish divergence while we see that the price is moving upwards this is into a similar range and if it dubs that will increase the chances of bullish divergence our 200 moving average on the four hours at just fourteen hundred and forty three dollars while my target range was somewhere in these regions we had wicked all the way into the highs of about fourteen hundred dollars just missing it by ten fifteen dollars so i do hope you guys had booked some profit here so if you haven't just be patient and see what's going to be coming next on these upsides or downsides the downside always remains going to be somewhere in the range of about twelve hundred dollars our previous price points which is about twelve sixty dollars so gotta watch out if we do come back into that range a big dump would be possible and on that dump we're likely going to be coming into these ranges but if not we are still going to play out for the $1400 target let's look at ethereum on daily time frame so the 200 moving average is at $1908 and the upper bb is at $1860 while 50 ma is trading around $1484 the lower bb is at $1107 if we look into any divergences on the rsi clear right now nothing is happening and obviously we were forming a bearish divergence here which was a clear bearish divergence so this correction is good actually it's not going to be a bad correction it's going to be a good correction but the important part is where it's going to be holding so on the daily we are in the same range from the four hour of about 12 60 dollars to 1300 dollars if we do bounce from that then likely we're going to be testing r50 ma or we might just come into these ranges and at least make a lower high at about 1400 to 1450 dollars let's look at ethereum on the weekly time frame so on the weekly time frames we still have that bullish divergence we are the candles are going downwards while the rsi is sideways so that is a clear bullish divergence if we look at the price patterns here looking all right nothing much happening having a retest of 2018 highs while we are just trading around the 200 moving average which is at 1296 dollars so got to be very very careful if we lose the 200 moving average like i've said before ethereum is going to see a bad big dump coming somewhere at thousand dollars let's look at xrp finally xrp target is almost there about you can say 80 percent to 90 percent is already there we had a very healthy trade at from this price point and now we're going to be reaching it very very soon so this is was our target about 55 cents so you can start taking profits here and if you see a quick work upside then obviously you're going to put some orders in advance there so you get your trades closed on that one because that's going to be very very important we can see here as well previously we had a very quick week up there so you got to be very very quick to act on this one you don't want to miss anything that happens swiftly so just be there to make your profits and closing your trades at the right time the volume looks okay rsi is pretty clear for now and we are seeing a green dot on the macd which is a very very good sign can gives me uh, an idea and a confirmation that we're going to be hitting these price points very soon let's move into fear and greed index and we are extreme fear levels of about 24 yesterday we were at 23 so just been in this 20s nothing has changed much let's move into the crypto bubbles so in crypto bubbles a lot of action is going on like i said about the xrp trade xrp is up about six percent on the dailies and about 9.6 percent on the weekly so that is a very very healthy and good trade that we are in and looks very very profitable right now let's move into bnb bnb obviously the big hack that just happened do we see any difference coming here especially on the price point not much weekly is about 0.5 percent negative and on the daily is just 1.26 percent so not much difference you know the effects of the hacking i really don't think there's any difference let's move into the derivatives that are so short position traders are dominant and are willing to pay long traders more short positions right now take a buyer sell ratio buying sentiment is dominant in the derivatives market more buyers are filled by takers as oi increases it indicates more liquidity validity and attentions are coming into the direct markets the increasing trend in oi could support the current ongoing price trend so we might just go on in this price trend pretty much sideways not big upsides or any squeezes coming at this moment let's look at the exchange long and short ratio so bit phoenix as usual extremely aggressive 90.36 percent people are in short positions right now overall we also see bitmax about 63 percent people in short positions uv exchange about 60 percent people in short positions especially in one hour so we can expect some aggressive moves to be coming and then likely a squeeze brand adoption across the nft markets and nft collections and nft artists because everybody is actually making 
a good name for themselves in Web3 and the brands are preferring partnerships with big successful NFT collections. So this one is imaginary ones with Hugo Boss. This is going to be a big, big partnership in this space, bringing another brand in NFTs and Web3. So that's all for today's video, guys. I hope you like today's video. If you do, smash the like button, share your thoughts in the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Going to be back in here soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.